So the you know me that I've chosen to exhibit is only it's like it's a it's quite a small one. Um, it got it's got a nice big foot. It's fairly narrow and it has it, it goes slightly wider towards the lip and the lip is kind of a bit thicker than the the body, but it, it tapers to um, fit comfortably with somebody's mouth. I like, uh, like all you know me, so I, th- I think uh, the foot is really important, not just for aesthetic reasons, but it also gives it, uh, for practical reasons, so it's easy to um, decorate and uh, glaze the pot because the, the foot gives you a sort of something to hold on to and you can just glaze it upside down in one move. I use a wax resist pattern with a porcelain slip and then it's covered with an iron bearing semi matte glaze and it's fired in a reducing atmosphere to 1280 degrees or cone 9. I also like to throw um, you know me and, and a lot of other forms slightly off center and um, what I mean by this is um, I would uh, not uh, center the top of the clay when I'm throwing and so that gives it a sort of a slightly irregular rim and sometimes a little bit of a swagger which which I think adds a lot of character to it. I mean, for me, the, the first time I ever sort of got in contact with the you know me was many, many years ago in, in Cape Town where this, there was this potto um, uh, I saw at a fair and he made these cups which didn't have any handles and I was quite intrigued by them. And uh, I, I just thought it was a, and, and, then he, and once he explained the history of these and how they'd sort of, sort of come to the West, which, which mainly through Leach and, ha- and Hamada's collaboration. Um, for me, they're really important because they're like, a, you know, they're little like treasures, really little artworks that are, are handed around by potters. So often you meet potters and they usually, the thing they would give you is a, is a you know me and so almost all of the you know me's I own have been given to me by other potters so for me they're, they're, they're very special and I think they epitomize or encapsulates the kind of ideas behind the that kind of work um, the, the the sort of uh, liege hammered tradition in their their sort of beautiful simplicity I think I think people often forget that at the time when Leach started set up the the pottery in St Ives, that was quite a sort of rebellious and and new thing to do. It's, you know, that was kind of the birth of studio pottery, and that's continued. And I think, ha- however far it's evolved, and um, so many studio potters can still trace their sort of lineage back to to the Leach pottery, um, although indirectly, many you know many of them are ha- potters uh, and ceramicists working today. People working in clay were students of people who had who had um, been spent time at the Leach pottery, or and in many cases just people who were inspired by by Bernard's writing. So I think you know I think it's still uh, it's still relevant today and it's still explored.